Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Dana with From Fertility to Delivery and today we're going to talk about four reasons for miscarriage. And if you have had a recent miscarriage or a stillbirth, my heart goes out to you. It is devastating and it's very traumatizing and it is something that no one should ever have to deal with. Uh, but it, it does happen and it is almost like the elephant in the room that no one talks about, but it's right there. So we need to talk about it. And today I'm bringing up four reasons for reoccurring miscarriage. Now, when, I, when we talk about miscarriage, we have to talk about two buckets. The first bucket is the physical aspect. So the physicality, the body, what's happening in the body. And then the other big bucket of fertility and conception is actually intangible. It is spiritual and it is energetics and it is all of the energy frequency and vibrations that are happening during conception. You can't touch it, but it is there and it exists just like the frequency of a radio station. You'll never see it in the air, but when you turn your radio on, you're going to, when you tune into that channel, you're going to get that channel. You're going to hear it. So something's happening behind the scenes that we don't get to see but it's, uh, it's there and that's how the energetics looks. First, we're gonna talk about the physical aspects. Now, one of the biggest reasons for miscarriage could be a mineral deficiency. And uh, when I talk about minerals, I'm talking about the minerals that the body needs. The body actually needs 102 minerals uh, collectively on a daily basis in order to thrive and survive. And uh, now that we are moving into the ascension period where our bodies are ascending, they're changing, they're becoming more crystalline, we actually need even more minerals just to get through that process. And then on top of that, creating a baby that creates a lot of need for minerals. So one of the best minerals that I've found through my research and through hearing a lot um, of other folks that are healers and intuitive healers, they talk about burdock root. Now burdock root can be taken as a capsule and this is a capsule that I got online, burdock root. And then also it can be taken in a tea form and this is the tea that I also got online. Again, I don't rep for these products and I'm not a nutritionist, so disclaimer, uh, go to the healthcare professionals that you work with, especially if you are already on medication, to see if these are good options for you. But the burdock root and tea and also the capsules that I take, uh, pretty I take the capsules on a daily basis and I take, um, I drink the tea at least three, maybe five times a week. Uh, I. I don't have any side effects from them. It's completely natural. It's from the earth, it's from the ground. Uh, it's, it's an actual root and it is natural and it's very inexpensive. I probably spent um, around like five, six, seven dollars on these products. So depending on where you find them online, they are, make sure they're high quality, make sure they're organic, non-GMO, but uh, they will really help you beef up your mineral uh, deposits that you have in your body. Minerals are very important. Of course, uh, other things like prenatal vitamins and folic acid is going to be very important when you're in this stage of your life where you're looking to start a, uh, a family or grow your family. So that is something to look for. The second physical aspects would be certain aspects that are womb abnormalities. And I wrote some of these down uh, to talk about them. Again, I'm not a uh, a healthcare professional. Um, so please talk about this with your healthcare professional, but these are some that will get in the way of pregnancy. Endometriosis, uh, PCOS or polycystic ovarian syndrome. You also have fibroids, blocked fallopian tubes, and Asherman syndrome, where there may be some scarring and some tissue scarring in the womb area uh, that could have been there from a surgery, from uh, possibly um, an abortion, uh, previous abortion, and um, it doesn't, I'm not really sure how these are created in the womb, but the scar tissue. Uh, is there and it actually blocks the the egg from implantation. So again, this is something to talk about with your healthcare professional, but this could be something that you need to take care of on a physical level. Now let's talk about the energetics. 
and that is something that I am drawn to. I specialize in and uh, created my business and my humanitarian project on spiritual fertility and understanding the dynamics and the ancient wisdom that's been completely lost and to be honest taken away from society about what we need energetically in order to create the baby so one of the the blocks to fertility is actually fear around becoming pregnant again due to trauma past trauma maybe a very traumatic childbirth uh, your first childbirth was very traumatic and intense and your subconscious will actually uh, break down and and keep you safe to the point where it creates infertility that's a problem that needs to be cleared out it could be as easy as journaling and as stringent and strict as going into a hypnosis session for multiple times in order to clear those connections. And I have created classes for this purpose to help you clear them. I'll talk about them in a minute. But are you subconsciously in your way of the pregnancy because of traumas or a previous loss, like a, a miscarriage or a, um, a stillbirth. So those are some things to think about as you move forward, as you continue to feel, deeply feel, that's how you heal. And then you get to the next level where you're ready to move on to the next step. And also there are three components to a healthy conception. There is the mother that's going to hold the baby. Uh, and take it to term. There's the father, that is the, the seed, the seed that's planted in the womb that grows. And what grows? It's the baby, of course. And in terms of conception and fertility, it's the spirit baby. So I talk a lot about spirit babies. You can find a lot of my videos on this channel that you're watching about spirit babies. Uh, but baby, basically it is the soul that's ready to come earthside, but it's not earthside yet, but it's working on it. So it's aligning with the father and the mother and coming together. The father and the mother come together to create a conception cradle. And this is actually what it looks like energetically. It's pillars of light that hold up the baby. And let's say this is, let's say this is the spirit baby. <laughs> it holds the baby like this in a conception cradle. And I talk about that in my spirit baby online class how to create this conception cradle, how to get into alignment so that you can actually create it using uh, chakra, chakra clearing and also um, kundalini exercises that strengthen your kundalini because these are the esoteric energetic components to getting to the point where you're in alignment for conception and fertility. And once you're there, you call the baby in with vocal expressions and you can also call that chanting uh, but that does get a little negative connotation so your voice is very healing and when your spirit baby hears your voice and they connect to your frequency and your energy and your vibration there is a synergy that happens that you can't recreate anywhere else and you can do it yourself and I know that science has created a lot of ways to become pregnant, but you know, those are really expensive. So how do we take our power back and claim our birthright of fertility? We learn the basics and that's what I'm sharing with uh, the tools and the support that I've created. Now I've gone over three aspects of multiple miscarriages. And the fourth one is the spirit baby. Now the spirit baby is backing out. They're just not ready to come earthside. And when this happens multiple times, this is considered multiple miscarriages. And again, for those of you that have had multiple miscarriages, my heart goes out to you because it is not something that's easy to deal with. And it's really frustrating. And you don't really talk about it with anyone because it just feels like talking more about failures. So where do you go? Where do you go to heal? And that's why I'm here to create a community 
where you can listen to the videos, connect with me, send me a direct message uh, with any concerns that you have so that we can go and address these concerns. And I do that in the class that I created. Another thing about the spirit baby is that maybe the, the fetus that was created is just undesirable for them. Maybe there is a defect and they can energetically see it and they will see it within the, th the first three months of uh, conception and where the, the first trimester, which is a very tender time for the pregnancy. And that's really where most of the miscarriages occur within the first three months. That's where the baby and the fetus are doing a little dance and trying to figure out what works for both of them. So if the baby continually rejects the fetus, um, that would be more of a reason for wanting to retreat back into the spirit world. They're just not ready to come Earthside. And uh, unfortunately for the mother, you have to go through these multiple miscarriages, which are just tremendously traumatic. Another part of that is being unable to connect to the mother's alignment. So if there is something off with the energy, you know, that conception cradle that I just created, let's say one person has the conception cradle created and the other person is wobbling. How are you gonna hold, let's say this is our spirit baby, how are you gonna hold that properly? You can't, it's just, it's just a wobble going on on one side. So that's where the energetic, align energetic alignments come into play. And I have created a class online, six classes actually, that talk about all of this. It talks about the conception cradle and the kundalini energy. I talk about the, um, the, the actual energetics and the chakras and how those have to be spinning in the right direction in order for all of this to come together. I also take you to, into the Akashic Records. And what is the Akashic Records? It is a holding place for all of the contracts and all of the lifetimes that you've ever had. So all of these components come together to make something beautiful. And I hope that you can find a connection with all this information that I'm offering you and um, see it in your heart to look into this. It is different, it sounds a little woo, but you know what? It actually works. It worked for me and I didn't even know what to call it back then. And then I realized that this is something that I could share with the world. And that's what I want to do here. So again, my website is fromfertilitytodelivery.com and you can find me also on social media, Instagram, YouTube, uh, Facebook, and TikTok. And I also have some videos on Rumble. So bottom line, I want you to feel confident about fertility, even though you've had multiple miscarriages or stillbirth. Science is not the only answer to these issues and IVF is not the only answer. It is one of the answers, but it's darn expensive. And we weren't given a womb so that we couldn't use it. Remember your birthright. Remember why you're here. Remember how effortless it is in the soul world to create and bring that back here. If you want a taste of my information, I have, have, I have meditations online that you can tap into and listen to uh, at no charge. And then I also have some healing exercises on my website. One of them is the Akashic Records Clearing, where I take you into the Akashic Records and clear and help you clear this. This is something you can do every day as a, almost like a hygiene regimen to clear out the old contracts that you have that you created in parallel lives and past lives to clear everything and welcome in the new soul. Thank you so much for being here. Many blessings. And I hope to share more information as I create it and help you get to that place where you, you're holding your baby earth side and everything is wonderful. I send you many, many blessings from my heart to yours. Thank you for being here.